Hey everybody, this is Rock Paper Mario and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Um, in the last part, we finished up the SSN and got the Cut HM, which we are now going to use to teach to our HM slave, Bubasaur. Bubasaur! Um, <laughs> there we go again, making the noise again. Um, but no, I guess you could like build up like an ins an, a whole um, a library of the Pokemon voice acting just from this LP, which you might like. So we taught it to Bulbasaur. Um, because, well, what a surprise. Diglett's dug this long tunnel. Diglett dig, Diglett dig. The trio, trio, trio. Diglett dig, Diglett dig. The trio, trio, trio. What am I doing? How many Pokemon have I caught? Oh, nine. Oh, that's not enough. Um, yeah, basically, this is Diglett Cave. I, I, I was kind of just like moaning at my Pokedex there because there's something you can get if you have, um,. Ten Pokemon in your Pokedex. And what's he? What's this? It is. The Diglett! The Diglett at the story, my dad! Do you remember that episode? That has to be one of the most memorable episodes. And if I'm right, that's episode 31 of the original anime, Digdo's Diglett. In that episode is the one. Actually, Gary's in that episode, and he like shows up with all the women, and um. Brock is like, could you give me a phone number, email, or postal address? And they're all like, <laughs> they're like, oh, thanks, mister. And then Brock is like, oh, they think I'm old. And like, Misty goes, Brock's over the hill already. And then Brock goes, okay, so I'm desperate. Because like, Brock's just like a big pedophile. I don't know. And what's like, Gary's like 10 years old. What's he doing like driving a car around with a load of women? I don't know, there aren't many 10-year-olds that could say they've done that. What else happened in that episode? That's such a memorable episode. Um, like, Coughing and Ekans evolve into Weezing and Arbok, respectively. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flesh could light it up, then I don't know what I'd do. I guess I'd just be able to go through that there Rock Tunnel. Well, this is like, you might recognize this route, because if you just go a bit more into the north, you'll find Pewter City. And if you go to the south, you will find. Oh no! No, if you go to the north, you'll see, yeah, Pewter City, and if you go a bit to the south, you'll find Viridian Forest or whatever, I think. Don't quote me on that. Well, what's in here? There is... A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. And thanks very much, Professor. I'm looking for a Clefairy. Want to trade one for my Mr. Mime? No, because Mr. Mime isn't on our list. Ash didn't have a Mr. Mime. Ash's mother has a Mr. Mime, which I think is kind of cool. Let's get Babatsa to use, um, Cut. So yeah, that, I really liked that episode, Dig Those Diglett, with that crazy guy who was like, THE DIGLET, THEY ARE DESTROYING MY DAB! Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. I don't like that place. Hey, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aides. Yeah, I know. Glad I don't have you. If you caught ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. So Ash, have you caught at least ten kinds of Pokemon? Um... <laughs> Let's see what happens if we say yes. Let's see. Oh, oh, you've only caught nine kinds of Pokemon. Oh, well, cut me some slack. It's just one off. And come on, I mean, what other Pokemon am I going to be able to catch? Let's find this. Well, this is a HP up, which is pretty useful. And what's down here? It's a Moonstone from Moonside. Welcome to Moonside. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> this was just a big waste of time, because I'm going to have to come back again when I have, like, another Pokemon to be able to do that. Well, how many more mi I think I've been going for four minutes. I think I've wasted your time enough. I'm going to go and start, like, cleaning out Vermilion Gym, I suppose. But maybe I'll be able to take on... Well, I won't be able to take on Lieutenant Surge in this video because there won't be enough time, but I'm going to meet you back in Vermilion City. Dig the dig, dig the dig, trio, trio, trio. Dig the dig, dig the dig, trio, trio, trio. Dig the dig, dig the dig, trio, trio, trio. Oh well, yeah, but oh well, and now here we are back in Vermilion City, um, and we're going to use Cot to um, gain access to Vermilion Gym. Well, no, Charmeleon doesn't know Cot. Here we go. Well, no, we're going to want to put Charmeleon back in front of our party because we are going to start clearing out Vermilion Gym. Let's talk to Elmer Fudge here. Yo, champion making. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Whitening American <laughs> in America. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. 
birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge, very cautious. Be very, very quiet, because I'm hunting rabbits. You will, you will have to break a code to get to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do I keep doing that? Well, yeah, basically, this is the electric gym. Um, so we're going to want to bring out Charmeleon to the front like we already have. So yeah, Lieutenant Surge is the lightning American. In America. That guy sure talks about his hair a lot. That guy sure talks about America a lot. <laughs> Here's another sailor. Does anyone think that the sailor's faces look really like Lieutenant Surge's face? I don't know, maybe they just use the same thing. Um, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. I don't think that's even how that song goes. I haven't heard it in like like a year or so. Um, oh, what was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. So here we are. Well, that wasn't that hard. Oh my god, are there only three trainers in here? Oh my god, what kind of a cockamamie gym is this? <laughs> I could have sworn there were more trainers in here when in red and blue. Maybe there were, I don't know. Oh, well look, it's Steven Tyler. Rocker, sent out Voltorb. What, are you going to bury us in a rock land Like the boulder? The boulder! I can book more. How are we faster than Voltorb? Voltorb is like one of the, well, Electro technically is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. I think he actually is the fastest in this generation. Don't quote me on it, I don't know. Another Voltorb. Dig the dig, dig the dig. Charmeleon, Charmeleon, Charmeleon. Charmeleon dig, Charmeleon dig, Charmeleon, Charmeleon, Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Um, another Voltorb. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me, Steve? Yeah, the viewers don't want, want, want to watch me like take out Voltorb after Voltorb. I'm sorry if these videos are boring, I really am, I do apologize, it's just like I, I don't seem to be in the mood for recording Yellow. But I think it's because of that whole thing that happened with the desync, I was just... I couldn't believe that happened when I saw it, I was like, you cannot be serious, I was like that tennis guy, what's his name? You cannot be serious, I saw Chalk Dust! When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict co... Co what? Maybe it's CO? Oh, commanding officer! What am I? I have no interest in the army, so I'm a pacifist. Well, no, but I'm not saying going to say I'm a pacifist because that makes it sound like I'm saying war is bad. War is inevitable, so there's no reason in saying war is good or bad because it's inevitable. So the only thing we can do is try and minimize it. Oh, brilliant! Lucky me. That sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean it to sound sarcastic. But um. I mean, there's no point in saying, oh, war is, war is wrong because it's inevitable. As sentient beings, we are bound to compete with each other. But, um, I don't think the army would be for me. I don't think I could handle that. Well, I guess this video wasn't as boring as it could have been because you had, like, a nice philosophical discussion on the reasons for war. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and solve this puzzle, just to show you what it is. Hey, oh my god, there's a switch under the trash. Now, as far as I know, um, the next switch should be right next to it. Maybe it's down here or something. I don't know. Oh, is it here? Nope, there's only trash in here. Hey, the electric locks were reset. Oh, fuck you. Then. Oh, this stupid puzzle. I, I'm, I'm going to have to look up what, what the secret to this puzzle is, because there's some secret that, like, if you find the first one, that the next well I suppose I should explain it actually properly basically there are two of these trash cans have switches in them um, and one of them when you find the first one the second one is going to be right next to it or something like that I think one of these NPCs said okay I'll talk then Serge said he hit the door switches and so well I know that let's talk to an old guy the door won't open then Serge was all <laughs> what about this guy set up double locks here's a hint when you open the first lock, the second one is right next to it. Yeah, that's what it the thing, but I don't know what they mean by right next to it, because they're, like, do they mean there are potentially two that are right next to it? But, like, if the first one is here, then that means, well, no, I've already checked them, so. Nope, only trash in here. Nope, only trash in here. Nope, only trash in here. Nope, on What? What? What's going on? Hey, there's a switch. Turn it on. The first electric lock opened. Okay, well, let's try this one. Yes! Yay! 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 Well, I suppose in the next video, what we're going to do is take on that character, Lieutenant Surge. 
because I'm not going to take you on Lieutenant Surge now. Well, maybe I will. I'm going to take on Lieutenant Surge, and I'm going to just going to fast forward the gym if I have to. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to save because I don't want to have to like open those locks again. Um, Ash saved the game, and let's go fight Lieutenant Surge. Ten hot, welcome to Familiar Gym. You will look at that, a pants as a challenger. Haha, <laughs> you've got big brass nerves to talk to me on with your puny power, your puny as a, a Pokemon battle at war. I'll show you, civilian, I'll shock you into surrender. Isn't there like some line in one of the games, I don't know if it's in this one, where he like talks about like how on the battlefield, like on the battlefield of war, he used his electric Pokemon to like electrocute people to death or something like that. I don't know. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, thank god. Come on, Charmeleon, you can do it. You can do it! Come on! Oh man, that was crazy! Oh, Charmeleon, come on, you're you're my f Oh no, please don't kill Charmeleon. Come on, Charmeleon, you can tank it, you can tank it. This is going to be the shortest gym battle in history. Come on, oh my god, I can't believe this is going so well. <laughs> if that Mega Kick had hit at the start, I would have been gone because... What? That was it! <laughs> And here was I, like, whinging about, like, how difficult this was going to be, and then, like, I beat it in, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> You're the real deal, dude! Find it! Take the Thunderbird! Ash got- Oh my god, I can't believe that, so like, The Thunderbird! Grant up your Pokémon speed! Take that Totemper! It lets your Pokémon fly any time, kid! You're special, kid! Take this! Ash received TM20 more. That is Thunderbolt, a very useful TM. So I, I have a special Pokemon in mind that I'm going to teach that to- Teach it to an electric Pokemon! No thank you, I'm not going to teach it to an electric Pokemon, actually, Mr. T. Um, Snickers, eat some nuts! I don't know if you have those ads, but over here, Mr. T is in ads for Snickers, so... Well, I can't believe we actually just defeated the gym. In the next part, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> because technically we can't do anything until I find another Pokemon. So, um, leave it with me and I'll try and figure it out, so... Um, thanks very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow with me, Rock Paper Mario, and see you next time for hopefully more interesting commentary.